Hello there and I offer you a very warm welcome to another Friday Spiritual Lectures. So this past week we've been looking at the issue of self-acceptance and the value and importance of it in our, in our lives, in everyone's lives. Now the journey of self-acceptance, it's intense, but it is one that every soul has to take in order to rise out of the trap of this 3D world. You know, sometimes life can feel like a, a labyrinth, a maze, in which we're trapped and life becomes just noisy and chaotic. But underneath all of this noise, there's a profound truth just waiting for us to recognise it. And this is the power and the importance of fully accepting who we are. This journey of self-acceptance goes way past just, you know, acknowledging our strengths and our flaws. It actually connects into the depths of our being, into our true self, embracing the essence of our existence and our spiritual journey and understanding and loving the reason for being here. If you look back at the core of all spiritual teachings in every culture and tradition, they talk about authenticity. Every belief system recognises that each soul is a unique manifestation of the divine endowed with an incredible value and purpose but we end up chasing societal approval validation and we turn away from this fundamental truth we wear masks in order to fit into our predefined roles and expectations wearing a face that is just not true to our soul's light but freedom comes when we take off these masks when we begin to embrace our authentic selves without shame no matter who we see beneath this mask or who we think we are, we are deserving of self-acceptance and we're capable of accepting ourselves. But this journey does require us to have courage as we have to confront our fears, our insecurities and all our vulnerabilities in the raw. We're asked to peel away the layers of conditioning and what society has given us, a bit like peeling away the layers of an onion, until finally we uncover our truth, who we are. We all long to align ourselves with this, this rhythm of the universe. It's easier to surrender to the flow of life, but it's hard to do if we can't accept who we are. We instead become like a block, like a dam to this beautiful flow of energy. We have to embrace the opportunities for growth and self-discovery rather than running away in fear. Yes, our journey may challenge us, it may be hard, but the rewards are peace and joy. And when we learn self-acceptance, it gives us a huge sense of compassion and empathy towards others. If we embrace our imperfections, we develop a, a non-judgmental attitude towards others and patience you know, with others and their imperfections. And we start to recognize that every single one of us is a, another traveler on this cosmic journey. And each person dealing with their trials and tribulations. And some find it easier than others. But as a result of embracing our, our true light, our authentic light, we open the doorway to spiritual awakening. We peel back these layers of ego and delusion. We connect with this divine spark that is us. We realise we're not separate from divine source nor from another. Rather, we are perfectly imperfect expressions of its divine wisdom and love. And when we realise this, our life takes on a profound meaning, bigger than the boundaries of space and time. The importance of fully accepting who we are cannot be overstated. This sacred journey of self-discovery, of learning more about ourselves, is a spiritual evolution. A journey that leads us back to the essence of our being. As we embrace our authenticity, we, we reclaim our power, our purpose and our connection to the divine. Yes, as I've said, it takes courage and humility and faith. But to walk this path is the richest path we can ever take. Knowing that if we can embrace ourselves, we actually embrace the universe itself. So what can we do? What can we actually do to help us begin to accept who we are? Well, take time to be with yourself. 
You know how we love spending time with people who bring us joy and make us feel good. But then we run from ourselves. What message does that send? Begin by being the one who you want to spend time with. Learn to bring yourself joy. Also be mindful. Mindful about the words you say about yourself or the thoughts you have. Our quiet mind can be very cruel about ourselves. Once we start listening to this inner voice, then we can start changing the messaging. Also treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would give to a close friend. Be extra gentle with yourself when you're going through difficult and challenging times. Remind yourself that being imperfect is a wonderful part of the human experience. And then this is the big one. Don't be afraid to feel vulnerable. We hate feeling vulnerable. We think that being vulnerable is being weak. But opening up and sharing our true thoughts and feelings with others is a sign of real strength. Yes, we fear judgment. But when we see that our true friends don't judge us, then we begin to feel more comfortable within ourselves. Also know that you have a right to say no. When your heart tells you to say no, it's an act of self-love and self-respect. It's not a sign of selfishness nor impertinence. And remember that you're allowed to ask for support. The people around you who love you will always be there to help you stand up for yourself and be true to who you are. Fill your life with this energy. Become deaf and blind to those who only want to make themselves feel better by putting you down. And lastly, Celebrate your achievements. Anything you've done, made, said is worth celebrating. I still congratulate myself for any victory. I had a recent moment when I didn't discount my services. I charged full price and the client was happy to pay. But so often I would have offered a discount out of fear that I wasn't good enough. But I stood up for myself and I praised myself. So celebrate anything. If it makes you feel good, celebrate it. And basically keep going. Self-acceptance doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey of clearing out all the old crap that we've been given, of rewriting those old rules and self-beliefs, and it can take time. But it is time that we begin to peel away these countless layers of self-doubt and insecurity. If you want to be your authentic self and you want to have that light radiating out, you've got to keep going. Remember that self-acceptance is a lifelong journey. Be patient, be compassionate with yourself. It's a journey of twists and turns and detours, but the final goal makes it worthwhile. To be able to get up every day in peace with yourself. It's a special moment. So do please keep going. I hope those tips will help you and I wish you a very wonderful weekend and I look forward to seeing you again soon. My blessings. Bye bye.